Hey guys, my name's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. So with my new beautiful vlog camera, I thought I'd start out with a what I eat in a day video because I haven't done one of those in a long time. Whoa. So I've been eating really healthy for about three years now. Let me tell you, it was hard hard at first. I have the biggest sweet tooth, so don't get discouraged if you're trying to be healthy and you're hitting some roadblocks. But it comes pretty easily to me now and I give myself one cheat day a week. That's on Thursdays and then I'll probably drink once on the weekends. So yeah, if I didn't do those things, I'd be a little healthier and my body would be a little better, but it's all about balance and those things make me happy, so that's what we're working with. Wow, these waves are a lot more intense than I thought they'd be. They'll probably loosen up throughout the day. I do not follow a specific diet plan. What I kind of do is just listen to my body. I eat when I'm hungry. I do have a lot of salt because I have low blood pressure, so the doctor literally told me to have a bunch of salt. Um, I started a new obsession of sunflower seeds. Well, I played softball for like my whole life, so I'd always have softball seeds sunflower seeds at games and stuff. It's good to find something like that to snack on for when you're starving so that way once you get to the dinner table you don't just shovel it all in your face and get stuffed because that is not healthy. My mom was super awesome and offered to make me breakfast though today last night because I was like so tired. She said I'll make you breakfast what do you want? So I asked for hash browns and like a Greek yogurt parfait so I'm super excited to eat that. I am hungry. It's like 10.45 right now. So see you guys there. Oh yeah, so we got hash browns and then a little Greek yogurt parfait here. We have bananas, blueberries, and roasted almonds. And I found like the best, tastiest go-to yogurt is the Oikos Triple Zero. I really like the cherry one. Um, there's like no sugar added, so it's super healthy, but it's actually delicious. Like a lot of Greek yogurts I can't just have by themselves, but this one is actually really good. Hey, my dad and I are going on a walk. It's all uphill to start, so it's kind of hard. It's a lot nicer outside than I thought it'd be. It's pretty warm and humid, which I don't like that part, but I'm gonna work out later too, but being healthy is a lifestyle. Always gotta keep moving, go on walks, never stop. Made it to the top, now it's going downhill. But I am moist, I'm not sweating, but it's humid outside and I don't like it. I don't get how people could live in Florida or whatever. That just sounds gross. There are two people in different yards who are hand trimming their grass, not even with clippers, just like they're plucking grass and squatting. What the heck? Is this a new thing? <laughs> so I just got back from the walk and I had a handful of grapes as a snack. I was just really craving them. So I told you I'm not doing a specific diet, but in general, you know, I try to never eat simple carbs like white bread or anything like that. Hash browns is cutting it close with unhealthy carbs, but but I usually have, you know, whole grain bread, whole grain bagels, stuff like that to get my carbs in. Or there's also a lot of awesome pastas made from like lentils that are a really good way to get your healthy carbs in. And then I try to have a good amount of protein, especially if I'm working my 12 hour shift or I work out that day, I'll have extra protein. A bunch of people try to stay away from all fats, but you need to eat healthy fat to burn unhealthy fat. So nuts, seeds, avocados, increase those in your diet. Also, obviously this isn't sponsored, psh, I wish, um, but there's this thing called G plants. You've probably heard of it and seen it all over Instagram. There is a free thing, which is the only thing I did, where you do a body type quiz and it'll tell you what your body type is and how it metabolizes things. Mine, for example, is the most rare. It equally metabolizes fats, carbs, and proteins. So it's telling me to have an equal mix of all those throughout the day but most people prefer one source over the other. So if you listen to that plan, it can give you kind of a direction of where to take your diet. But never be too, too strict on yourself. If you've been craving something for days, you know, have a small serving. I just, I really believe in listening to your body. That way you won't go overboard, you know, when you see a cake and you have like four slices. Hey, so I'm about to do a booty workout. I just designed this new thing, which I think will be awesome. I'm gonna put a thing on TikTok, so if you wanna watch that whole video, see how the workout works, go check it out at Emma Kate Patterson. But basically, 
warm up and then I'm gonna make sure to work out the three main glute muscles. A lot of people don't do that. So I wrote down on all these different color pieces of paper, workouts for each muscle group. And I'm gonna pick out three random ones for each muscle. Repeat each one twice. Basically, it's gonna be a good workout. It is 1.10. I'm not quite hungry yet. I'm starting to, but I wanna make sure to get some protein in after this workout to get maximum muscle growth. Wow, okay, that booty workout was an absolute killer. I got like sweating from just like a booty workout, which never happens because I don't sweat very easily, especially on just like a weight workout, but it was great. So check out my TikTok if you want the details for that workout plan. But I'm not done. Now that I finished my strength workout, I'm gonna do a HIIT workout to finish out the fat burning. And I'm just going on YouTube here. I typed HIIT workout. I'll probably do 20 minute HIIT, no equipment. I always switch things up. I do HIIT workouts, I do yoga, I do dance videos. It's good to switch it up on your body. It keeps it on its toes, burning more fat. I don't know why that is, but it's true. Oh my gosh. That absolutely killed. So another part of that, listening to your body. So I have MS, so I have a lot less energy than most people my age. I was supposed to do four rounds of that HIIT workout, but I only did two because my body was like done. So I just listened to it, you know. I just do what feels good, but don't use that as an excuse to be lazy. You need to push yourself hard enough, and I obviously did because I'm sweating and so out of breath. So I was just gonna make one of my go-to protein drinks, but I'm not really in the mood, so I'm just gonna have a Power Crunch protein bar and make a salad because that just sounds better. And I also have honey walnut shrimp from Panda Express on the way, which is so exciting, just like a little small container. Ta-da, my beautiful salad. I always make it in a giant bowl because a giant pet peeve I have is to have something in a small container and then you like can't stir it, you know? It's the worst. I actually headed over to my boyfriend's house so I'll eat dinner with him. But something I wanted to mention is how much freaking water I drink. This is 20 ounces and I'll drink like between four and six of these a day, which is a lot, I know. But I've never been a big soda person. I don't like milk or tea or coffee, so I guess it makes it a lot easier for me. But you know how important water is. I don't need to tell you, but so many people just don't have enough. And the more you start drinking it, the easier it'll be, the more your body will crave it. So drink a ton of water. We're getting my favorite tacos. Mm. Uh, really? How is it? So delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to have a big giveaway soon, so look out for that. Have a great day. Make someone smile, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.